Welcome back to the Colbert Show. And today, we are previewing the most important race in all of NASCAR, the Daytona 500. I'm back with Jage. You know, there's so many other NASCAR fans in this duel. He's lucky he got on twice. Should be thankful. There's a lot of competition yeah, out there. Yeah, it was a lucky, lucky dream. I bet you if you went to every student in the school, they could name at least um, what NASCAR is. They yeah. could spell it, maybe. 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 That, that's maybe. a stretch. Yeah. I, can, I can't even spell it, so yeah, it's tough. I can't spell anything. <laughs> yeah. so. Anyway, so let's preview the race. First off, when is the race? When is the race? It is Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, 3 o'clock. Uh, no, 2 o'clock. Two o'clock. Fox set. Fox makes up whatever time they yeah, want. Their the pre-show green, starts yeah. at noon. Yeah. So. And NASCAR will start it when they feel like it. We yeah. we don't know. Yeah. We two o'clock. That, that would be the safest yeah, bet. Yeah. Tur turn on the Fox at two o'clock. Right? Yes. Hopefully. Yeah. Now, last year's race, Danny Hamlin won it in a great race until about ten to go, and um, see, I don't know. Let's see, Paul Menard. Paul Menard, Brett, Matt and Benedetto, Benedetto and, yep, and took out the whole outside lane, whole outside probably field. half the field. Half the field, and then. We had about three more cautions, and it came down to about three cars at the end between Danny Tyre and Logano. And yeah, and you know it's bad when the fourth best car is a front row Mercedes. Yes, yes. Car driven by Michael McDowell. So yeah, that was kind rough. of a disappointing ending, but it was, it was. But you only have eight cars. I thought we got the best we could. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. one thing about this one, there's always a bid one. Yes. Always. Especially now, it's just with especially with this new package, there's going to be a bid one. About ten of them is yeah, what I'm. Yeah. Predicting. yeah. It's basically you choose when to wreck someone. Yeah, you get the run and you lift or you don't. So yeah, you're either it just or depends or. at the time of the race when yeah. they feel like, hey, yeah. are we gonna wreck here or no? Uh -huh. And you hopefully it's not at the end of the stages like previous yeah. 500s. And one thing about it, it is a wire cord race. Anybody in the field can win. Yes. As my dad always said, if you're on the lead lap on the last lap, you can win the Daytona yeah. 500. Yeah, it's. I like to call it throwing matchbox cars now. Yeah. Life. Come out in the lead. You win. I mean, think about <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, the only way to pick a winner, winner for this race is to go up to a hat, pick a number out, and even then, that yeah. is more. That is probably m better of a way than to. Yeah, yeah. So. It's it, it's almost it's the complete opposite. Of it is entertaining. Yeah. It is. If you've never watched a NASCAR race and you have nothing else to do on Sunday, which you don't, um, you should watch it. It would. We know you don't. We know you don't. You should watch it because there will be, we will have trivia. After the Daytona 500, see if you watch it, the winner will get something. You might be on the show. You might. You might not. <laughs> but that might not even happen. I don't know. I just say stuff into this camera. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm paid to do it, but it's kind of just what I do. Anyway, back to the why you're here to listen to me talk and to listen about the facts about the Daytona 500. So, here's how it's such a wire card race. Since 2000, there has been 15 different winners in the last 20 years. That, it is up in the air. Anybody can win this race. And there's only been one driver, Wisher Petty, who somehow won the Daytona 500 seven times. Impressive. Yeah, I guess when you had more money than he did all those years, you know. <laughs> By the way, we both agree, Wisher Petty is nowhere near the greatest NASCAR driver of no, all time. He, is not. he might have the most wins, but that's like winning an NBA G League game and then saying, oh, you have the most NBA wins of all time. It doesn't count. It does not count. Wisher Petty is not the greatest of all time. My greatest of all time is Jeff Gordon. Your, uh, yours is Jeff Gordon. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, I thought last in the preview. You saw oh, Tyler in Bush. the pre. Well, so the new greatest will be Tyler Bush, but until he wins that third championship, it will be Jeff Gordon. Okay. 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 Just I'm gonna just say this: Ty any Tyler Bush's stretch wins are more impressive than Richard Petty's wins back in the '50s. But sit back to the race. Back back on topic here. Anyway. So, like I said, anybody can win this race. Mm -hmm. Anybody, yeah. any so day. So that Trevor Bain wins the race. Yeah. Doesn't get. Another... Who's Trevor Bain? Yeah, yeah, he's out of a ride yeah. in less than what? What was it? Austin yeah, Dillon won the race. Austin Dillon won the race. A questionable move. Yeah, yeah I mean, he read Almirola to win the race, but, but he won the race. He did win the race, and yeah, you know, so that matters at the end, I guess. Really, it's about all that matters is positioning, positioning. positioning. And don't be in, just don't be in the red. If you're not in the red, so you win this race. Yeah, yeah. So your prediction: Who wins and why? Who wins the Daytona 500 this year? Yep. Well, I haven't really thought about this much, but right at the top of my head, you know, I'm going with. Who? You heard it here. Matt Di Benedetto. Oh, wow. I took your prediction. But the, I was gonna say the same thing. 
I had Matt. I'm predicting Matt the better wins too. Okay. I just got a feeling today. I was like, you know what? There's been too many normal people winning the days 100, 500. Sure that changes. Matt the better debtor on the 21. All right. Glad we agree. Yep. We'll and see. don't forget. Also, we have the other um, races. Yes. The clash for speed weeks. Yeah, now we'll we filmed this before those races happened, so we don't know what happened. Yeah. But you know, we've got so? the Arca race qualifying. Nine. The, the duels, clash, the duels clash. trucks, x and then finally the 500 yep. on Sunday. So. so it should be a good weekend for the Clash. Who's your winner? I don't know who's in the race. I'm going Kyle Busch. I think he'll win it. Yeah, I don't really have a prediction for the Clash. So. You, don't, you just can't just pit one driver right ahead. I, I can't. I can't. Well, first off, I'm not entirely sure who's all in it. but yeah. Now let's not forget about qualifying, how it's rid. Who's winning the poll this year? Who's the biggest story? I'm going to take a wild guess. Go with a Hendrick driver. Whoa. That's sad. I, I'm Chase Elliott wins the poll. I can see that. Yeah. Well, that's all for the day camera 500. You'll be here to recap it with me, hopefully. I will. I will. Hopefully. Go Bid Roads in the Truck Series. Uh, yeah, Truck Series Friday night. Xfinity Saturday, 500 on Sunday. Just should be a great race. Good. I'm, I'm looking forward. Well, we hope, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Jason, take this out. <laughs>